Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to chapter 8.4.1 Easy Path. The defenders are going to be Gambit, Lady That Strike, Masakre, Shuri, Magneto with Hulkbuster, and the boss is going to be America Chavez. The nodes are Pick Me Up, Turn the Tide, Counter Strike, Perforate, and Aggressive. It's nothing too difficult about the nose, just it's a very simple path. But with pick me up, every 10 hits you will get an energize. If you get hit by the defender while having energize, you take extra damage. And yeah, that's about it. The, the champions that work really well are going to be either your nukers who can nuke down the fight very quick, or damage over times that have a lot of potency, deep, uh, heavy potency debuffs like your archangels or somebody like. Uh, uh, Kate Bishop, they work really well. Relics are not required here, but you can bring them in to extend the combos and finish off the fight faster. Boots to boost will be helpful, and your regular masteries will do the trick. Boss Island, we will go ahead. America Chavez with Rising Sun, Pumping Iron, Foresight, Heavy Meter, Shifting Immunity, and Level Headed. More on her later in the video, so stay tuned, guys. And let's jump into the bot and check it out. The first fight on the path is going to be against the Gambit. I'm going to use a Nimrod here to nuke him down and I'm just going to build up to an SP2 and keep an eye on the, the special timer. Once it allows me to throw an SP2, that's when I'm going to throw it out. Uh, remember that all the specials are going to be unblockable for both champions because of Perforate. So whenever Gambit will throw an SP1 or SP2, you will have to evade that. And there's also Counter-Strike. So right here i'm just waiting for the special timer to press up to two and right here i will throw my sp2 and do a lot of damage now there's another way you can change this you can just uh, alternate your last hit of a combo and that also turns the timer to the next special attack so that works out too for you if you want to try that again sp2 dex remember if you do 10 decks in a row that is going to remove all the furies from you all 10 of them and make gambit unblockable because of the node counter strike so keep that in mind just again i'm waiting for an sp2 to show up on the timer and here we go another sp2 and an easy takedown on gambit Moving along on the same themes, next defender is going to be a Lady Death Strike. So I'm brought in a Cosmic Ghost Rider that is rank 4. I would love to have a Ascendant, but for now I'm gonna use him. So I finished off with the Light Attack. Now I will end up this one with a uh, Medium Attack and automatically it changes from 3 to 2. And with an SP2, that does a quite a bit of damage. You go back in again and you rinse and repeat and you can see the damage lay into her. So again, this path is all about either bringing in your champions and the damage over time. So for example, here, um, your, uh, here, Kate Bishop will work really well too. If you don't have any one of those champions, you can always go for nukers. In my case, I'm nuking her down with the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Very easy path, nothing too difficult, uh, an easy takedown. Fight number 3 is going to be against the Masakre, so I've brought in my rank 2 Bishop. All in all, I just want to build up to an SP2 and get as much as prowesses as possible. And then throw a big SP2 and do some damage to Masakre and hopefully take him down with the uh, take him down with the incinerate. And rinse and repeat that. Again, uh, the nodes are not that difficult, you just have to play around turn to tide and counter strike. If you are going to evade the opponent, you are going to get a passive fury increasing your damage. But if you evade him 10 times, all of those furies, 10 of them are converted into an unblockable for the defender. So at that point, he becomes a little annoying. But you can dance around and uh, uh, dance around and play around that node. There we go. Right now, he is unblockable and I'm just working around it not trying to get hit keeping him to an sp1 and with my own sp2 i'm able to take down masakre quite easily 
again for the node on the turn the tide if you alternate your combos the last hit of the combo you are also able to change the special uh, display uh, special timer from three to one or two to one to the next available Now the first annoying fight on this path is going to be Shuri because she is she cannot be parried until unless you bring a champion that can parry non-projectiles and she's quite tanky also and she gets into miss quite a lot and whenever she will throw specials they are unblockable so you are going to get hit with them but then again um, I think slowly but surely you can bring her down. Uh, this is the first SP2 from Hulkling. Now Hulkling is a great great nuke so I've brought him from uh, my run. Uh, similarly you can bring in other champions to take her out so uh, uh, that's all about the fight uh, some other ch some other champions that can work are going to be Kate Bishop you can also bring in uh, you can also bring in um, cosmic ghost rider so plenty of options available just be wary about which one you're going to use against her and you just need to nuke her down pretty easy straightforward battle Here is an example of uh, taking down Magneto with a class disadvantage. I'm going to use the Kid Bishop now. She is ascended and she also has a um, relic of Winter Soldier. So there's going to be a lot of cold snaps she will apply. So I am just slowly building up to an SP2. I did not. I wasn't able to change my uh, special timer to one. So I'm going to wait it out, just change my combo, last ending combo, and there you go, it's one, and I've thrown an SP1 with perfect release, and there is the vulnerability and also cold snap. I wait on the SP2, going back in with four hit combo with another SP1, and that should apply another cold snap also. So just like that, Magneto is down to 40% and he will melt away. So the nukers are the way to go for this fight. Just make sure not to bring in a metal champion against Magneto, otherwise it will be a very miserable fight. Fight number five is going to be against a Hulkbuster. Make sure you bring in a champion who is either shock immune and also remember that he also applies on you armor break so if you have willpower running that would be really helpful uh, remember both specials are unblockable so the sp2 will really hurt if uh, albert buster throw that, uh, throws that out just make sure to bring in a good uh, cosmic champion that can take Hulkbuster, uh, Hulkbuster out, keep him to an SP1 only, nuke him down and that should be good or damage over time both will work really well. The boss we're going to attempt is going to be in a Marka Chavez with Rising Sun. So whenever you will hit, you will get Furies on yourself. If you get more than 10 Furies, you get a Degen. Pumping Iron, you can only do 100% damage to a Marka Chavez once you have 2 or 3 buffs on yourself. 
and there is foresight whenever you will intercept your you will get a passive fury increasing your damage we have a hitter heavy attacks deal more damage and they are unstoppable and there's also shifting in immunity with bleed and poison along with level headed now this is all about controlling the furies and every now and then dropping uh, intercepts so you can do more damage to uh, America Chavez and keeping him to an SP1. That's very crucial because their SP2 can be very high damage and very annoying it can be unblockable so that would be a problem. My counters here for this one are going to be champions that have easy access to either intercept assistant intercept like for example your Elsa Bloodstone or you have champions that can easily chain their heavy attacks within their combo so doom can do that uh, your uh, wasp can do that your silk can do that and all of these champions can really work because chaining that uh, heavy attack will help you remove the furies from rising sun and avoid that degen there's also going to be void that's a good option you can also bring in uh, uh, spider ham he's also a good option so the degen will not affect him and uh, those power stings should be able to take out uh, america chavez so not really a difficult boss pretty straightforward so yeah that is the first part on 8.4 i hope you guys enjoy it and if you find it helpful make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications all of that really helps you out a lot and helps me grow the channel Apart from that guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video that is going to be 8.4.2 Easy Path. Bye!